How's it? How's everyone? How's everyone? We all good? This gun looks so nice. I love your hair. It's not my hair. It's a wig and I'm going to be showing you how I do vigs today. Today is all about the vigs. Ah yes, the vigs. We love the vigs. Do you love the vigs? I'm actually so prepared. I have everything I need, I think, and I'm selling two of them. I'm selling this one and another one. Someone um, from Twitch has already told me that they want this one. So I have one more green and black wig to sell. Where'd you get your wigs? They're always so pretty. Um, nine times out of 10, I make them, but um, this one, it's just something that I got online that I said I wanted to do and remake. I got it for 40 because it's nice enough how it is, but it's just, you can't see anything underneath. So I'm gonna completely rework this wig. This wig is, is gonna look 10 times better by the time I'm finished with this today. What's up, Viva? It was actually Viva. This is uh, Viva's wig that we're doing today. She said she wanted an emo wig and don't worry, we're gonna be giving it to her. Like I want to see the green underneath it. We can't right now, so this black is going to be completely cut up, like, to there. I'm actually in love with this hair. I think it's going to look so cool by the time I'm done. So, when you're cutting hair, emo hair, scene hair, it's the only type of hair I can really cut, um, you have to do it in layers. I always say that, I always call them stair layers, and there's only three things you really need. You need at least three hair bobbles, three hair clips, a hairbrush, a comb, your hairdresser scissors. Emo hair is all about layers. So you want to start at the bottom layer and work your way up. There's about nine layers to emo hair. So you'll have the longest layer, then you'll go to second layer, third layer, fourth layer, fifth layer, sixth layer, seventh layer, eight layer. So there's eight or nine layers depending on what how long you want your hair to be. Um, and how many layers you want in your hair. Like, it's up to you how many, how thick your hair is and how many layers you can get into your hair, but eight or nine for me. So first thing I'm going to do is separate the bottom layer from the rest of the hair. This is easy. My vision for this is to have just the green at the bottom poking out. Okie dokie. So then you grab it So the clips are there to keep your hair out of the way. I'm gonna separate these as well because um, they're just gonna get in the way. Like literally, it doesn't matter how your hair looks. You just want it out of your way so that you don't cut it accidentally. So I'm gonna split this one in two. But we're just cutting layers into it. Then you gotta brush it again. So then you grab the two pieces together. Okay, done. Okay, that's the first layer done. The first layer of the hair is officially done. And what you want to see, as I always say, is this. You want the hair to do this. See? See the way it's like, it's getting shorter. That's how you know you're in the right direction with the hair. This is the next layer. This is the next layer. Oh, good. Okay, so the first layer ended down here. So the second layer, I'm gonna have it here to the snake. Okay, so that's that layer done. So next, we're gonna go to here. This will be the next layer, just here on the M and Y. I always pick, I, it, it doesn't matter how like where your layers are, as long as you chop the layers in, you're fine. So now we're gonna separate the next layer. Good to get into a relationship to help you mentally. No, I disagree. But you could never expect other person to fix everything. No, I, I disagree. How can you get into, you can't use someone as your crutch. That's ridiculous, no. 
That is that is that is just not how you treat other people. Like put it getting into a relationship because you think that person will help you? No. That's a crutch. Don't use people as crutches. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I have to do this right now. So I want this, I want the black to be like the short short up to here. Am I all out of I think I am, yeah. What music you listen to? I listen to all types of music. Like this morning I was listening to 80s rock, then I was listening to um some what else was I listening to after that? I was listening to loads of different music this morning. Just can't think of anything. I was listening to Westlife this morning. Absolutely love Westlife. I was listening to George Ezra. I love George Ezra. No, I don't like Tokyo. I'd never like Tokyo Hotel, sorry. Yeah, I love dubstep. Love dubstep. I had a Skrillex haircut for years. I'm thinking about getting a Skrillex done again. See, your hair is supposed to look like that. It's supposed to have all those little short layers inside the hair. That's how you know you're doing it right. I'm going to continue the blonde or the green to here and I'm going to cut the black up to here. I want there to be a clear line between the green and the black. If you think it's going to be part of your fringe, just cut it from the side a little bit as well before you go before you go down. This is going to be such a nice wig by the time I'm done. I don't know how I'm going to part with it. I don't actually know. Since it's part of the fringe, you're going to cut from the side and go into it. So the next layer here. I don't know a lot of I don't know many hairdressers that can do this style. This style is not an easy style. It's a it's really like intricate and it takes a long time to be able to do this style properly. so nice oh my god actually stop this is perfect this is actually perfect actually perfect stop it stop it stop <laughs> this this side is unreal yes baby okay next layer so my last layer was there this layer is gonna be at my nose baby that's what you want you want to see all these wicked little layers starting to come up in the hair see they're the stairs yo how'd you get the hair so fluffy lots and lots and lots of layers so nice stop oh my god look at it it looks so nice ah! oh my god it looks so nice stop it now for the fringe the fringe is one okay i pull out the hair forward 
Now you can see the green properly at the bottom. I'm going to tie this up. Ew, oh my god, look at that. Look at that. That is what you want. If you can see all the layers like that, that is literally gold. This is gold. Now we're going to get onto the fringe. The fringe, it's not hard, but it does take a while to get used to doing it. So you just want to drag all the hair forward first. And then you want to find the first layer. Okay, now you want to tie up the rest of the fringe. This is the fringe before I've cut it. What you want to do is to cut like a V into it. So it depends on what side you want the hair to come out. This is where the side, this is where the hair is going to come out for me. So I'm going to cut a V into it in this shape. So first thing you do, you start this way and then you go this way. So we're going to go this way first. You want it to be just above your eye. Like that. And then after you've done one side, you want to go back and do the other side, this side here. So we did this side and now we're going to make the same V on the other side. I'm just cutting little layers into the fringe because it's too heavy. Now we're going on to the next layer. So the next layer has to be shorter than the first layer. Now for the black, the black has to be shorter as well because you have to see the green through it. Done. 